good afternoon everybody today we are discussing the next topic of the photochemistry that is the photochemical formation of the hcl yesterday we discussed every photochemical reaction consisting of the primary and the secondary process and primary process is taking place in the presence of the radiation and the secondary process may be in the dark reaction or thermal reaction etc and in the photochemical formation of the hcl there are two reactant hydrogen and chlorine so first step is the decomposition of the chlorine in the presence of the light radiation having the wavelength of 500 nanometer and we will get the two radical chlorine radical that is the photo uh, chemical initiation step and the product of the product of this step is the chlorine radical and this chlorine radical combine with the hydrogen react with hydrogen and to form the hcl and hydrogen radical again this hydrogen radical combine with the chlorine and to form the hcl and chlorine radical this is a chain uh, chain reaction this will propagate to the and in the final step termination step this radical which is formed will combine together and to form the inactive molecule that is hydrogen and chlorine the quantum yield this uh, this reaction is 10 to the power 6 as we discussed earlier we discussed the two laws of the photochemistry first law that is uh, the growth strapper law second law uh, the stark einstein law so according to this law every molecule will absorb the one quantum of the radiation for a photochemical reaction so the for quantum yield of a reaction uh, most of the reaction the phi value is equal to 1 but here it is 10 to the power 6 so next we are moving into what are the reason for uh, for the high quantum yield of this photo formation of the hcl the first reason is the photo activated molecule may initiate a sequence of thermal reaction in which more number of the reactant molecule involved so photo activated molecule is formed in the primary process that is the uh, uh, the that is this reaction is taking place in the presence of the light so the number of the radiation or quanta absorbed number of the molecule which absorbs the quanta is 1 but this molecule will initiate the other reaction that's why the rate of a reaction will increase so the quantum yield is also increased because the one molecule the number of the molecule uh, which undergo the chemical reaction is high than that of number of quanta absorbed so the numerator is very high that's why the phi is also increased so second reason is in the secondary process is an exothermic reaction and it may activate other molecule so the number of molecule which undergo the chemical reaction is again increased so that's why uh, the phi is also increased the third reason is photo activated molecule may activate other reactant molecule and the photo activated molecule is produced in the primary process and that molecule will bombard with the other reactant molecule in the secondary process so the number of the molecule which is uh, is increased so the phi value is again increased the fourth point is the intermediate product formed may act as a catalyst and it will provide a new pathway of the low activation energy for the reaction these are the some of the reason for the high quantum yield in the formation of the hcl of photochemical reaction next we are moving into the next reaction that is the photochemical reaction of hcl which we are so in this reaction the as we discussed earlier the there are two steps in the photochemical reaction primary process and secondary process here in the primary process the high the bromine molecule uh, will absorb the radiation and to form the br radical that is the initiation step or primary process and which is taking place in the presence of the radiation and in the secondary process this radical combine with the react with hydrogen and to form the hbr and hydrogen radical and this hydrogen radical again react with br2 and to form hbr plus br radical and in the retardation step this 
the hydrogen radical react with hbr molecule this is an inert molecule this is the product and react with the product and to form the hydrogen and br radical and in the termination step this br radical combine with the next br radical and to form the br2 molecule so the uh, in this reaction the quantum yield is very low it is 0.0.01 so as we discussed earlier if we absorb the one quantum of the of the radiation per molecule the quantum yield must be 1 but here it is only 0 0.01 this is mainly due to first one the photo activated molecule may undergo the quick non activation radioactive deactivation due to the collision with non activated molecule Second step is for second reason is the photo activated molecule may undergo the radioactive deactivation through fluorescence or phosphorescence. It will not uh, converted to the product. And third reaction is photo activated molecule may enter into the reaction other than the side reaction. Sometime the side reaction may occur. So the um, activated molecule will not converted into the product. So the number of the molecule which is absorbed the radiation is decreased divided by the number of the photons. So the numerator is decreased and denominator is very high value. So the phi value is again decreased. Then primary dissociation step may undergo recombination. So in the primary process the radical will recombine together and so uh, the radical will not enter into the secondary process so that the phi value is also decreased. The fifth point is some of the steps in the chain reaction may energetically unfavorable they occur in the reverse direction. So uh, that's why the phi value is less than 1. So these are the important point. So in the HCl the phi value is very high 10 to the power 6 whereas in the case of HBr the phi value is very low 0.01. In HCl, the formation of the, the propagation or chain reaction propagation step that is Cl plus H2 gives HCl reaction and H plus Cl2 gives HCl step. These two steps are exothermic step whereas in the case of HBr, these two steps are endothermic reaction. That's why also the phi value is decreased in HBr formation. Thank you.